And welcome back everybody to the London Conspiracy versus the Balkan Bears match in this best of three of the winner brackets at the Mountain Trail Challenge. With me now is Dragon Drop Dota man. How are you doing? I'm doing great man. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, always happy to have you here. I'm especially happy to be back in the casting saddle after a little bit of a nasty cold over the weekend here can incapacitate me in that regard, so yeah, what better way to start back here into the into the Dota world with watching some TI qualifiers on the side and also casting a nice best of three here between some very evenly matched teams. I mean, last time these two teams actually faced up against each other was quite a ways back, actually, and I think in February it was in the John Dead MLG Pro League Season 1, yes, and they split the two-game series one-to-one, -one, so... Yeah, the only thing that really distinguishes these two teams is kind of the consistency between the roster, which led to London Conspiracy getting an invite for the uh, TI5 qualifiers, whereas the Balkan Bears did not get that. So, yeah, um, we see them with two standards here now, Nihis and Cube from Hehe United, which is kind of a symptom of that as well, I would say. Five seconds. Yeah, that uh, shows maybe a little bit of inconsistency indeed in the, in the roster of Balkan Bears here. Reserve time. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen. Yeah, London Conspiracy though, they are fairly heavily favored through uh, D on the D uh, yeah, Dota 2 launch as well as on E-Battle. What is it, 68% on E-Battle and I believe even more, yeah, even more on Dota 2 launch. They even say 74%. Yes. It's really high, fa it's really favored. It is, on paper, you uh, in general, you, the perception generally is that Longan Spursy is definitely the better team, as I said, also due to the fact that they have been invited to the qualifiers with the Vulcan Bears generally. I mean, they had that time when they were really like up and coming, but they haven't really followed up too much on them. They haven't really been too big, so to speak, but make no mistake, they're still a pretty good team here, and Nias and Cube from here United. They're not slouches either. They can definitely deliver here, and I, I do believe that these two teams, Vulcan Bears and Dehe, I mean, Hook also played for He United, I believe. Uh, yeah, he also sent so, him. Yeah. Even in this tournament. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I think it's fair to say that these two teams know each other well, so there shouldn't be too many, too much, too many communication issues between these players. So, I do still expect a very good series here, and it's really hard to call. I would give LC the win to one overall, but I'm ready to be surprised here. But yeah, let's head into the draft. I would say as it is going on quite nicely. Shannon Undying banned Rootmoth and Gyrocopter in the first one too. And then Queen of Pain picked up first from London Conspiracy. That's lived through the banning stage. And it's kind of the first pick, first ban kind of hero nowadays. Would you Would you agree? Five seconds remaining. Yeah, it's just... It really depends on what you're going for. If you already know what your support duo is going to be, then yes. Reserve time. They just ban it. Like, these heroes aren't just... They aren't equipped to deal with the Broadmother. So... Then it's just... If you see it already coming up, then you might as well just ban it out. You don't have an X on your team right now, and it doesn't seem that they want to be picking that one up either. And also, if you're playing with two stand-ins, you... Yeah. You're always somewhere in the back of your mind, you do have, like, issues regarding communication. And dealing with, like, a Broadmother? That's gonna be tough. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. I mean... Um... Yeah, X even banned out by LC now in the second stage, so... Even with the Brute Love Band, not going to see an axe anyway in this game. But yeah, I would agree. I mean, uh, despite these teams probably knowing each other well well enough that there shouldn't be too many glaring communication issues, something like a Brute Mother, of course, definitely means that you have to have crisp execution because one second too late and all of a sudden Brute Mother is back in the trees and you can't really, can't really get to her anymore. So you see the Balkan Bears go back to some... Really nasty, but relatively easy to execute uh, combos here with the Dazzle and Shadow Demon as a support combination. Uh, really nice synergy here between the Shadow Wave and the Disruption, because the Disruption puts some extra units on the field and gives you enough time to position yourself next to the targets, maybe um, maybe block him in even. But yeah, that's definitely a good setup for the Shadow Wave, which is a decent chunk of physical damage here in the earlier stages of the game. And yeah, physical damage is going to be the theme here with the Shadow Fiend added on as well. Yeah, with the, just a Dazzle Shadow Fiend combination already, just the armor there. Like Darkseer is not really, <laughs> doesn't really have that much of an armor going, Queen of Pain neither. Yeah. So the armor debuff, if they apply it to the Queen of Pain instead of using Weave on themselves, of course, they use it offensively, the, the armor will just melt away by uh, on the LC side, and Darkseer will most likely be forced up to either pick up a. Well, we usually see a Shivas instead of an AC on a Darkseer. So. 
You might see that. But the one thing for Balkan Bears is, is their two supports are fairly defensive. Well, fairly. They just are defensive heroes. Yeah. They're not really known for roaming too well, and they're just more based around, yeah, saving your cores. Instead of yeah. really putting out pressure. And... There's a uh, Bristleback. Bristleback will uh, run at them and will kill them. Absolutely. Uh, uh, depending on what kind of other heroes the Balkan Bears pick up for the lanes, I mean, I, I assume Shadow Fiend will be going mid especially on the radiant side that they're on now that's kind of the way to go since you have an easy access to the jungle they can stack up for yourself but we might still see them in the, in the safe lane depending on what BB, uh, the balkan bears want to pick up now i mean if you have a good hero that can follow up on the destruction as well not just with the heal bomb but with a disable um then you can still make something happen but it is as you said shadow demon dazzle not the most known role in the combo, but with the Lush Rack now, that's a scary trial and just because of that. Because the Shrek is one of these cores, it does provide that follow-up stun to disruption. And yeah, that means if you get caught by disruption, you're pretty much dead, even if you're breast back early on in the game. Yeah, and I, I just wanted to say like, yeah, the Balkan Bears, they're going to pick up an, uh, a Lush Rack because it is good with Shadow Demon. And <laughs> I was also going to say <laughs> that Eo was going to get picked up by Elsie. Yeah, you said that earlier. <laughs> Couldn't they, just, that. Can, can't they just wait like for, I don't know, 20 more seconds before they pick something so I can say that? <laughs> <laughs> now I feel like I'm just following him. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's my fault too. I, I talk, I talk way too much. Ah, it's fine. But yeah, the Io here. Io Bristleback. Classic. And with yeah. the Queen of Pain, high mobility. They actually have a really good Gankix squad. They're already dark with the Surge as well. Just the mobility for LC with this and the, the global... A little bit of a global threat that they can start to run with this is already really available. Yeah, especially search on the aisle, being able to transfer that extra extra speed to the bristleback as well, who is kind of fast himself anyway. Uh, if he gets a couple of wall path stacks, that's actually a good point. I mean, they're gonna be pretty fast and you know, pain with a blink as well. It's gonna be really hard for the Balkan Bears to keep the little Shrek safe, even with the Dazzle, even with the Shadow Demon. I mean. I mean, sure, you should be able to save the Shrag with the disruption, with the well time defense of disruption, or um, or shallow gray, but that at the same time, more often than not, exposes your supports. And then the Shrag is still not in a good position to actually keep fighting. Yeah, the, the one thing that the Balkan Bears have is that there's not that much of. Uh, I speak. Well, just of your stunts on the side of LC, they have some slows in. Uh, in a way of uh, the poison from Quab, Nasal Goo, and the Tether, but apart from that, they only have a really vacuum to keep you in place. Yep. So they need some crowd control there. But you pick a Nature's Prophet into an Io, that's ballsy. That is really ballsy, yeah. I'm not quite sure what to make of that. Maybe, maybe it's just to counteract some of the Wisp Gangs, but of course, if the Wisp Gangs come on top of you, yeah, then if you're split pushing a Nature's Prophet, it's kind of not the ideal situation but then again bristleback is not a tiny he doesn't have a stun inherently and unless he builds uh, builds a bash or a bristle blade which he will later on but much much later so if you see that gang coming as a nature's prophet you always have the option to just burn on tp away um so it might not be that bad if he wants to go for the split pushing routes but i just to go for that doesn't yeah but yeah, they don't have either. to take the the bristleback with him to gank if they let's say if they get an early level six on both of their supports, they just take line and they can just blow them up, or even the Queen of Pain. Like, yeah, perhaps, perhaps. There are the options, like yeah, getting the the Bristol back to gank the the Nature Prophecy. That's pretty, yeah, especially yeah. in the beginning, that won't work. That's just odd. You can get like the orbs to give you some vision or very yes, but yeah, yeah the... realistically speaking, you're not gonna get him. Yeah, I think it's gonna come down to map awareness and map vision more than anything else, which is. Which is always the case if you're playing up against an IO. But yeah, it's, as you said, you, you not just have to keep vision for the IO, but also for the ones that can actually um, be be dangerous in conjunction with that extra plus two that the IO gives you. Like the Queen of Pain linking on top of you, like the Lion being in the lane, providing that extra bit of disable. Um, but yeah, Nature's Prophet on the other hand, if, if he's good with the Strian micro, if Hook can just uh, send Strians left, right, and center to keep an eye out for, for LC's heroes, then it might not be too bad. But yeah, it's going to come down to map awareness, map vision, and they might not even need to play that Nature's Prophet in that full on Splitter style, right? No, but they yeah. can. 
Well, they kind of want to use it because so far it really all seems about Miracle. If you have two defensive support like this, you have a Nation Prophet essentially uh, as well as uh, the Lash Rack, of course. You kind of want to make space. And the only real person in the side of Balkan Bears that you're going to make space for is from Miracle on the Shadow Fiend. So. Alright, the home blows, no blood just yet, so let, I wouldn't say, let's take a look at the lineups. Starting with London Conspiracy here, we've got Kaiser on the bristle back. Madara playing the Queen of Pain Skanks, or S224J playing the support lion. We've got Io played by Spartan, which leaves the offlane to Skylark on the docks here. Yeah, and for the side of the Balkan Bears, we have Nice playing the, yeah, the Dazzle, we have Exist playing the Leshrac. We have Quepe playing the Shadow Demon, we have the mid Miracle Shadow Fiend, and we have the safe lane Nature's Prophet played by Hook. We're gonna see an aggressive far lane here coming out of the Balkan Bears. Yeah, uh, I talked to the draft about how scary that is, and that kind of inherently makes it work in an aggressive trial. And what's more interesting though is that uh, LC decided to dodge that. Um, not putting that with bristle back on there instead you choosing there to run that in mid which is which is i think is a good decision overall because bristle back definitely needs a good start you need the levels more so than the queen of pain i want to say because in queen of pain sure of course you need that too kind of want want to have oh he is yeah he's taking got quite a, a bit of damage here he only has shadow wave but port is incoming quepe walks in and they just deny <laughs> <laughs> casual deny <laughs> <laughs> that looks just really funny. <laughs> it did. But really well played too, the yeah. cube, just recognizing that one more right leg would have done the trick. And yeah, denying first blood. Yeah. It, it did cost them 29 gold. At least that's what the Dazzle lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, still, good play. You can see the, the two hey stand ins from Hey Hey playing well together here. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. As you would expect, that's the yeah. This is fun to see from time to time. Keisha is also taking a lot of damage. Oh, the last double race kills him off. Wow. Not something that's supposed to happen in mid lane with the Wisp next to you, but I am actually full health and no overcharge just yet, so not even. He couldn't even heal him up. Feeling up Kaiser yeah. there. Milka also playing that, of course, very well, making sure that not a lot of damage goes on that Wisp. Indeed. I'm just wondering how. Yeah, both should be fairly even. Hook should be fine, but for the same time, yeah. What are they gonna do for the Skylock here? Yeah, um, I think things will turn a little bit once Darkseer gets a Soul Ring, because that's when you can really just spam out the Ion Shell like there's no tomorrow. And, I mean, Hook himself will still be fine, but that just means that he can't really use the Treants aggressively anymore to harass out Skylark, so... Skylark should be fine in that regard. I don't think that Skylark should be putting the iron shells onto the uh, to no. the three ends. That's that's not, not good. Idea. Be, no, he, he just micros it away. Yeah, there. That's probably not the best option there. Maybe do it on yourself or something. Most likely be the best way to get the full duration of there. Yeah. The staff on one of the creeps uh, to go ahead. I mean, with the new cooldown or with the new duration, I can't really remember what changed. Duration. But the duration changed. It uh, went up from 20 to 25 seconds or something like that. So you can have three iron shells at the same time. Yeah, you, you see the effect right now. The wave is pushing and he still has another iron shell to put on himself if he wants to. So maybe he can snipe off some of these treants. Yeah, he's still walking into the problem that you, of course, don't oh, have Yeah, they're gonna go in. Quepe, he's gonna be low again. Gonna get another deny here. Oh, he's gonna disrupt himself. This is gonna be there on time, though. No. Yeah. Yes, I know. There's a pretty bed. good setup there for the Earth Spike. Oh, Madora blinking across aggressively here. Nice. Still in trouble, does not have a shoulder grave still. So he's gonna fall and exist on the run here. Teleport comes out, and that should be. be that. Yeah, S2 4. S yeah, S2 just taking a lot of. Oh, kills here. Already double kill for him, and now they find Spartan. He does have a tether, though, and there you go. Up to his teammate. He's just fine there. And that means that at, now at bottom, it's just all free space here for Skylark. Yeah. Here we see the just really good understanding of the heroes that LC have. I mean, um, also a little bit over aggressive here from BB. I mean, they, they dove like right under the tier 1 for some reason. I mean, and sure, I was talking about how scary that combo is here with the disruption into the, into the Earth Splitter. Or Split Earth into the Shadow Wave, but it's 
only really on one target. And it was at least a dual lane. I w it was Madara here, but then uh, Wisp and Kaiser came back in as well. And Lion was running around up there too, so it's, it's not really easy uh, to fight up against us with this with these kind of heroes, especially since you don't have Shallow Grave, since you don't have Level 3 and Shadow Demon either. Don't really have Lightning Storm as Lushrak is actually going for that Edict build that you don't really see a whole lot of nowadays. Oh, it's all about Lightning Storm and controlling the lane and yeah. just getting our arrestment there. And usually just like one point in Diabolic Edict just to like force them to use the fortification early. Yep. Yeah, Exist is opting for a different build here. Pull on push. Uh, uh, I do want to say that he leaves just two points up into the edict. I mean, one point is kind of mediocre. Two points is okay if you want to push early, and that's that's what they've been doing, right? They've at least been able to push down this tower, with for the most part Madara being alone up here. And yeah, as I said, alone Madara can't really do too much. Now he might be in trouble. Has another blink available and gets it off. So it's good enough. Not quite timed correctly. It was a little bit too far away to really get it off in time. Yep. I think if he was caught out there, he would have died. No catch him. Mi Miracle might be in trouble here, a little bit too far forward there. Yes, stands here with the hacks and then a lot of follow up with the stun. As well as a couple of right clicks. Oh, that dude turns around with the uh, with the wisp and now Kaiser will pick up the kill with the quill spray. And now Hook looking for another target, but oh. Repe is already walking in here. He has his disruption available, but there's gonna be a great earth spike keeping him away. He has the boots, Hook has some boots as well. Who's faster? It's actually going to be Hook, who's a little bit faster here. When will he? He doesn't have Sprout though. Needs one more mana. There you go. He has it now. Yeah. As to he Juke just has to be real. Yeah. But yeah, he's going to be found here by Quepe, and he's going to die. Knees picking up the kill. Oh, well, they still got um, still got Shed Fiend. Lost two foot with the Wisp as well. But at least Lion uh, kind of cost him a lot of time there, if nothing else. And. Hook having to rotate around again to try and help out. Leaves Skylark to another free lane. We see him now pushing down, pushing down the tower and even skipping the creep because he doesn't have a fear in the world. As we see another engagement up top here, Shadow Demon going down. Now Nia's on the run as well. He should not be long for the world here. No show of rave still. And throws a heal off of three heroes behind him. No way to run. And that's already another yeah kill going the way of LC here. They're already 3 to 7. And really taking the early game into a really firm crisp over here. Yeah, just good understanding of the heroes, good execution, just being there at the right time. I mean, not just sticking to the lanes. I mean, Kaiser and, uh, Kaiser and uh, Spartan have been very active rotating around, even pre-level 6, which is not on <laughs> even finding this stuff here. Yeah, he pops diabolic eating, so they're trying to yeah, go away a little bit further, because it does hurt quite a lot, but there's going to be Madeira already comes in. Does a guess of a scream, <laughs> and there is a dead EO. <laughs> Major oh, profit. <laughs> oh my god. IO. <laughs> yeah, although you're a strength hero, your HP pool is not that big. <laughs> and he just got blown up. It was like, alright, we survive, but then of course the edict is still going, and a little bit of vision lingering. But they just probably ultimately come through and <laughs> just blowing up the poor, poor ball. Oh, hook. Oh, almost the fuck him there on the mark of Skylark. Really close. It's not close enough. So for Bristleback, he's been doing fine in middle dose. He's about 20 CS behind, but of course it's a it's a shadow fiend, so I wanna say he's doing pretty okay. You know with dying, what is it? Even once, so But now he might yeah. be a little bit problem. No no spit herb just yet. They wanna try and turn this one out around on a miracle, but he has an ace one, so he's just running around like crazy. Oh, Spartan, he's low again. They need another nature's ultimate, but it's not there yet. 20 seconds and... This oh, is... the rays! Oh. Miracle with the plays and with just a little bit too close to the edge, but now it's still going here. He's still running around with this haze rune. Buckler is on him. Getting yeah, an extra they, armor. They don't have disables for them. I mean, this gangs with no mana. He can just do what he wants there. Nope, not a lot of first damage. Either here, as Madara does not just does not choose to use the spells just yet. Now might want to go in here, stun onto Dazzle. There he is, Madara coming in with the scream of pain, and now Skala joining the party here with the wall, with the with the nice vacuum here on top of the Iron Shell, doing quite a bit of work here. Miracle kind of isolated from his team, stunned up once again. Skala is now in a little bit of trouble as the rest of the team kind of 
gets a little bit of space now all of a sudden two years down the side of lc only for the daddle on the side of bb now that should be a tier one tower going their way as well yeah, a couple more seconds left uh, on the cooldown for diabolic edict but yeah, they might get it uh, yeah, it takes too long for uh, for them to rotate in two heroes the sonic wave actually did hit three people with the balkan bears there but it just wasn't enough to kill them off yeah, it's kind of surprising actually and yeah. i would have expected that to do much more yeah, that was uh, it wasn't the money it was like perfectly on the mark it was a really early grave from uh, from Nias as well might have been a little bit too early there and the interesting thing is that uh, despite lc having gotten a lot of kills early balkan bears are still ahead of farm on all their three cores i mean hook i don't know how he's been able to do it but he's been a part of a lot of kills i mean that's for one thing and he's also been able to get a decent amount of cs in this lane Shadowfiend, of course no need to talk about that has been doing okay in lane gotten a couple of kills on the wisp five and one actually on him and of course plus the the stacks that he made for himself in the jungle so no surprise to see him on top of him sitting at six thousand gold 10 minutes in it's actually kind of scary yeah he already has his mecha up threats and even an invisibility rune has been found I think he will. He, he should hold on to it a little bit longer. Already gets level eleven, and they just blow up somebody with the requiem. Yeah. That will be fun to see. You can even just keep somebody in place. You just have Hook go in once he's invis, and just try, yeah, just sprout miracle together with the other person and just blow him up. Oh yeah, that'd be that'd be cool play to see. Yeah, I'm hoping for that. I'm calling that. I'm not completely sure if it will happen though, but who knows. <laughs> Hook is actually building towards an, uh, an early Orchid. There Interesting, is. but I, I do like this. I, I do like this build. I mean, there's there's a variety of Nature's Prophet builds. I mean, there's this split pushing build where you just go Necrobook. And there's this weird kind of early ganking fighting build with the face boots into Blade Mail and a couple of Null Talismans. But he's going for that little bit more mid game centric build with the Orchid, which works extremely well, of course, up against the Queen of Pain, which is. One of the one of the factors that you always have to account for. I mean, the Daryl just being able to jump in, get off a good good sonic wave, and scream of pain. I mean, in the last fight, it didn't wasn't enough to, to to turn the tables in their favor, but there's always the potential that it could, right? Or, or even Darks here. I mean, just preventing him from getting surge off uh, would make a pick up so much easier. That is indeed true, but I do I. I... I personally, I would favor actually the blade mill build. Just for the sole reason of all of the bursts coming out from LC on the Lion and the Queen of Pain. If you can get the Sonic Wave and the Finger onto you, it essentially just means that those two are dead as well. Mm, yeah, but that would mean that you kind of expect LC to start fighting into you, but that's not what BB wants to do. Uh, they've shown that they want to take down towers early, that they want to be the ones fighting into LC not really playing their game because i mean if bb pushes five then wisp wisp influence even if he had level six now which he still not got would really be um would be lessened of course burst back feels well feels good in five man fights but then again Darkseid as well line only to some degree if you can get some good spells off but if if not then you just cannon fodder most of the time um, but yeah, BB know that they're ahead right now with Miracle doing as well as he is, so they don't want to keep pushing that, pushing that advantage. They want to play on the die side of the map, they want to get the pickoffs, they want to be able to teamfight nicely. Being able to utilize their own burst rather than waiting for the enemy to maybe burst you, and then maybe you do some counter damage with the blade mail. And it doesn't seem to be the, the way that BB want to play, or at least hook. But they are a little bit more on the defensive right now because in top Madeira is pushing in on middle they're trying to get it now they rotated in four oh, yeah they want to go get middle and bot is in fight going on yeah there you go he just got blown up it's essentially the uh the nature profit for a mid tier one yeah. not ideal especially since the nature profit has such high net worth so i'll see actually get quite a lot of gold on that mostly on the dark seer who is working on what is he working on Becca. does have a chain mail like yeah, would make sense. Yeah, you need to counter out a little bit the mecha that's already on the side of Balkan Bears. Thinking maybe maybe medallion or something silly, but probably not. Ah, it will be out. Whip, he's getting pinged on. 
They do have to relocate, so... And I finally got that up with that last fight. Definitely big milestone here. Yeah, now they can finally just start uh, split pushing around a little bit more and just use uh, the relocate to get that extra man advantage if they need it. Yep. And now you can counter out that plus one from the Nature's Prophet to some degree as well, just when it comes to counter ganks, if you need to. But yeah, of course, level six on the Wisp just, just oh, changes relocating. the game. There it is. And exists. He's taking a lot of damage, but Earth uh, was coming out from him, but it's not really enough for the, for now. Oh yeah, that's actually blown up Wist again with the rage there. Who's coming in? Well, S2, he's gonna die here as well. TP out from... Yeah, Madeira, he makes it. Oh man. <laughs> it was a really good relocate in with the double stun from Skanks there as well and the lion following that up. But they only get exist and of course Shadow Demon able to save himself the disruption and then Miracle just coming in. That's the one thing that was like, all right, we're done, kids. I'm, we're done I'm playing. playing now. I'm playing now. I have 7,500 gold in my in my bank, more or less. Now I'm just gonna raise once or twice, right click once or twice, and now you're all dead. So he's actually going for an early BKB. Hmm. Not completely sure how I feel about that. I think it might be a little bit too early already to get it now. And you're, then you're really just saying that if you don't end it by 30 minutes or so, you're gonna have a real problem in late game. Yeah, um, well, it's, I mean, sure, it's good against the Queen of Pain, but then again, you, you have no orchid to worry about. You don't even have a level six on the line just yet. And even then, as I said, BB want to be the ones fighting into LC anyway, rather than the other way around. So. Um... Lion did might you... be dead before I can actually target the thing of death, even if you had it now, so... And who did you like prefer? A Yule Scepter or a Blink? Maybe even a Yule Scepter just because you have the, uh, the Midas? Uh, the Midas, the... Uh, what's wrong with me? The Mechanism. Just so you can uh, make sure that you always have enough mana? Uh, I don't know, Yule Scepter is... would be good for that, but the mana cost on Yule Scepter now yeah. as well is kind of prohibitive for the Shadow Fiend nowadays. That's so, true. probably just Scotty, to be honest. Scarlet is just such a good item on the Shadow Fiend. It would work in similar ways up against the BKB. I mean, the BKB makes you tanky up against the magic damage in, in some sense. But with the with the Scarlet, you would survive as well. The problem is, of course, that it's a little bit more expensive to build up as well. So it doesn't really want to go for that. It wants to have something a little bit earlier. Now another relocate in onto the bottom exists. Once again, the target is going to get blown up. He gets a BKB, then I wouldn't be too surprised. But now Miracle once again looking to clean up here, but the relocate out will be there. Those races, they were on the mark, but it's already too late. Yeah, got away with murder there quite literally now. Back to the top lane. And they're gonna keep on pushing here, and this at the moment is just hook defending. And yeah, he shouldn't be able to keep this by himself. If he walks a little bit too far forward, he will just get jumped. He's yeah, he's already out. We're gonna go on bottom here, they find Skylark. Oh, he gets purged in the middle of his search there, and yeah, he's not gonna get away from here. He does use the mechanism to stall a little bit more time, but it's still gonna be the end of him. Miracle, mega kill streak already. I'm not sure what he was doing down there. I mean, he's kind of running around trying to find an escape route, but I don't know how he ended up there to begin with. But yeah. Tried to run circles around him, but the purge says no to that, of course. Well, they did at least get the uh, the top tower with him running around on bottom, forcing out some rotations. And... Oh, I'll see. Looking to go and exist again. Gangs comes in, extra movement speed from the whiz. There's the hacks, but TP already in. below the tier two. Lots of TPs coming in, and now Skanks might be in trouble. He does have a little sun. We'll throw it out, but the split up. Io actually keeping alive for pretty long, but now the purge onto Io. They want to get more. Madara trying to fight up. Up against QP here, but the disruption will keep him safe with our little choice, but the link away. And Wisp gets away as well, though. He manages to teleport out. So, no harm, no foul. <laughs> now they gotta go right back in here. Relocate comes in this on the bottom lane, though. So they want to get Sheriff in the big prize here. Into the wall. Chance up the Requiem, but. It ends up not doing a lot more than just bringing out yeah. some more damage. But they get now healed up straight away with the mecha there, so... Now we see that extreme ability from LC coming into play. I mean, one second ago they were on top lane, they... 
by a miracle, they were able to just teleport out there. <laughs> um, just being able to spread the damage between, between themselves. I mean, without just tanking up, tanking up just enough to give enough space for the eye to walk away and teleport out. And then, of course, blinking into a teleport as well. And then the next next moment, you, uh, next thing you know, they're down on the bottom lane helping with the pickoff on Miracle, which is so crucial for their progression here. Being able to stomp him. Uh, even though we got the BKB now, of course, you kind of want to keep him keep him at that point now for maybe 10 minutes if you can. And you just wanted, if you needed to take like a big five-man engagement and then win it. But yeah, you kind of don't want to use it if just to escape. That's yeah. just not getting your worth out of it. We're actually going to be seeing up a Glimmer Cape fairly soon onto the IO. It's all the magic damage coming out from the side of... The Balkan Bears. Yep. Good pick up there. And oh, Skylark. I don't know who finds who, but it seems like Miracle is being the one who is found. S2 comes in. There's going to be the Finger Fakim, but now the BKB has been used. There's the relocate in as well. Keyser, he's going ham on Miracle. Miracle needs a little bit more to die. And yes, they are able to do it. Uh, Lion getting the kill there. Keyser, he's going after Quepe. He's turning around here. Pulls Nova doing a lot of damage. Keyser has to start running away. Pulls Nova exists. He's going to go after S2. Well, Keyser running the other way. Lightning, yeah, S2 is dead here. Over to trade. Keyser. DPing out. They find him. Disrupt. Yes, it's going to be there on time. Hook is also coming in. Exists perfectly. Time split Earth. And Keyser is dead. 3 for 2 trade. Omera. Just stop. I can even find all things considered just because Miracle went down again, man. Really good salvage there from Balkan Bears. I mean, especially getting that getting that kill on Rustleback, who took quite uh, a lot more damage than you would expect here from a Bristol IO combo. But yeah, IO kind of had his own problems dying his first in the fight, and then also Soul Catcher. They managed to get that on the Rustleback hang on though. Another fight in mid here. Hope might be in trouble here, and he does fall. Nice split off though from Exist will at least keep him safe. Yeah, Madeira already picked up his uh, Yules to, to counter out the uh, Spartan. Yeah, he has to move. To counter out the Orchid coming out from uh, Hook. Good early pick up there. Yeah. You already see it in play straight away. Don't often see you except those in Korea Pains actually, but yeah, just for this defensive option. Pretty damn good, and of course it also gives you the mana region. You tend to just... Yeah, it's a pickup that you only really make when you're behind and the enemy already has an orchid. And yep. it was in the beginning fairly low on the net worth chart. Yeah, we have but to now, keep in mind that he was up against the Stralin here on top. Yeah, uh, but this orchid timing not really. If he went for that, it would have been way too late as well. Yeah, and he would have died uh, there already. Yep. And but now he has really uh, fought his way back up there again. He's already second in the net worth, about 1.3k. Underneath Miracle, but that's just fine for him. Yeah, he hasn't died. Got three kills for himself and eight assists. So now he's more than halfway to the Zagnum Scepter as well. I mean, has a thousand extra gold in the bank almost, and then he needs another thousand to finish it off. Getting closer, and yeah, that's some extra pure damage going the way of the Shadow Fiend, which I desperately need here up against the BKB because I mean we saw it in the, in the last fight. Once Miracle got that BKB off. They didn't really have too much damage. Oh no, they're gonna go on Ixis here. They come in with the relocate, but Spartan, he's gonna get, uh, well, split Earth up. There's gonna be the disruption in time. Miracle comes in as well, but a good, well, Earth Spike coming out there. Now Kishu, he is stuck. Tether him out. There you go. They're all fine. They want to come back in, though. I don't think they want to now. <laughs> if they actually had mana for the finger there, it would have been a kill. Ah, that was a relocate back out, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of confused there for a second, but yeah. <laughs> no, they, um, got, they got out, they forced rotation, and now they're just farming yeah. all over the map again. Essentially, They've gone worse for them, yeah, for indeed. sure. For both sides, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, can, we can take a look at Kaiser now, we see him, alright, finishing up the Sergeant Yasha. On um, still decent time here after the Vanguard. Well, on the other side, the Balkan Bears, they want to have they want to have Rush. Oh wow, they're, they're gonna get it too. Yeah, they have a medallion bot on Quepe, uh, and yeah, Rush is already down here. Put on a little bit of weave armor here as well, and they just walk away from it casually. Yeah. Let's see without relocate, without uh, even the, even the Sonic Wave is not really way for them to fight. 
I mean, sure, you still have the Doxia vacuum wall, but how much does it actually do here? I mean, only one really worth worth getting into that is kind of the Shadow Fiend. Um, because you get that extra aura and he's the only one that actually right clicks decently. Everyone else, okay, maybe, maybe Nature's Prophet as well. But everyone uh, he's else. 150 damage kind of, already. Yeah. Yeah, Dazzle, the Shrek, Shadow Demon, these illusions don't do anything for you. No, they just tickle. Yep. And they die instantly pretty much as well. Maybe not the ones from the You're dying, Hook. Uh, lift it up into the air. Don't have a follow up stun, a miracle. Join the John fight as well. Mechanism comes out to keep him safe. And now we're, 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 we're wants to kill. Does not have a Sonic Wave though. We'll have to do with right clicks, but it's just not enough. We're starting to teleport out. But no, Hook will still die here from this damage. No. Uh, no, no. He's alive. On 6 wow, HP or barely. something like that. <laughs> that was close. That was very really close. Nice disruption there just to keep, get, uh, tip him over the edge on that, um, that shadow strike damage. Yeah. And Eo also just barely got out there due to the fact that his glimmer cap and exist he is found. Bring it up. He just got his bloodstone as well so he just no. lost an instant three charges on that. That's not what you want when you just get your bloodstone. Yeah, Exist not having the best game here. Always caught out here on the wrong side of that. Speaking of caught out, Skylark once again here. The money purged out. There's the shield bomb with the treants on top of the soul catcher. It's just so much damage now. An opening maybe for tier 2 tower push. The pinging it out here. LC is trying to defend it, but. Well, they do have the Sonic Wave. They do have Bristle back with the Sanchin Yasha done, but. They don't have the finger have though. Too much amount to play with. They don't have the finger, yeah. They and don't they're have not the in position, which is the main controlling factor in these kind of fights. They're also really not in position, so they really have to give it up. Yes. Yeah. But they do. Press split push a little bit, but only Creeper if he is on top, and Kaza has to teleport out again already. Ooh. Oh, Spartan Ooh. might get caught here. Cube throws out the Soul Catcher, a couple of poison stacks here. Miracle is there as well, and there's some disruption skanks coming in as well. Miracle though, looking for a good angle to raise. Let's gangsters go down south. Me is actually Shellgrave TP out, but he was up, up in the air. And Vacuum was there too, so he should fall. And, and they just oh. relocate out. Right okay, on. kind of safe to play. Maybe looking for someone else here on the side. We're trying to rotate in, but they might still find Miracle here, but they don't really have the have the tools to go on him. So just make sure that there's no ward up there and we get back. And now the other one's on the hunt. Yeah, well, the Valkyrie does have, what is it, two minutes left on the Aegis, and they're actually the one being pressured right now. I think if Miracle actually gets the fights in a straight up 5 on 5 team fight, uh, if he's not getting picked off, he has to be can be available. He's not using it just yet. Well, now it's too late. Straight off the bat, and there's the, there's the Aegis trigger, and now LC just has to run, I would say. Hook, trying to prevent that here. Nice brown on two! And now Madaru with the Sonic Wave lands on the everyone after the vacuum! There's the, um, there's the Requiem of Soul. We'll be able to pick up the, uh, pick up the Doxy with another race, but everyone else should be able to make it out. A oh, vacuum man, that was just... A this is a beautiful vacuum into the Sonic Wave combo. Unfortunately, they didn't get any kills off of that. Maybe now he was the stun from Skanks here. Kinds comes in as well. Trying to do whatever he can, but he has the Soul Catch on top of him as well. Wisp only not coming in, we doesn't have any bottle charges to help him out, so they just have to get the hell out now. Before BB is able to catch up. Oh man. That was such a clutch fight, and yeah, you're fighting into the Aegis. This is kind of showing the reason why you shouldn't. Yeah. Then again, Miracle didn't even... Didn't really get to fight. I mean, they still lost to heroes, I mean, going in after that. Uh, going in for a second time from LC, maybe a little well, bit Okay, now the fight exists. Okay, what? Yeah, they just relocated <laughs> in with uh, Madeira and uh, they just blew him up and casual use and bloop, they're back. <laughs> oh, LC just so cheeky here. I love it. Yeah, they, they just take any chance they get yeah. to kill Exis. Like, this is such hate coming out onto him here. But yeah, that was a really beautiful fight. Um, I was, was kind of hyping it up a little bit too much because no one Oh, died. Skylark. Like, oh, oh, thanks out in time. Okay. Can't even analyze the fight, seriously. There we no, go. they, they won't allow us because they're already going in on Exist again. But that does mean that S2 is actually quite, quite low aggressive blink from Madeira. Oh He's getting a lot of damage here. Ooh, nice ultimate from an agent uh, coming through, but it's not enough so far. Yellow Grave also came out, and oh, that's gonna be a deadline. 
Yeah, Nature's Prophet does get out. Once again, LC. The other one's on the run, taking the slightly worse end of this engagement. Madeira is just being cheeky, he was in the jungle and then he just <laughs> blinked out, killed the courier, TP's out. <laughs> cheeky play there coming out from him. Yeah, it's the name of the game for LC here right now and I absolutely love it. Yeah, even if you kill one or two of them, they always try to get something back. They either relocate, really, really okay, then kill exist, or they just get a courier or something like that, which they actually shouldn't be able to get. It's like a T2 for T2 trade here on the way, but the dire side does not have a glyph, whereas the radiant side does. So they do have the option to teleport back. They want to. Oh, they have to relocate there, so just can keep on split, uh, split pushing here. Grappy comes in, and now it's just Grappy alone. Hook also has to come in here, or it might just be the. No. Easier says, ah, I'm done, I'm gonna TP out. Now Spartan, he's also gonna leave here as well. Could have probably killed Cube there if they. They knew that uh, they're gonna kill Hooksy at the very least. Yeah, they're gonna go top. Red actually comes out from low ground, but can he teleport out of time? Does not actually go for it. Yeah, he falls now. Oh, they're ooh. gonna go aggressively. The fight knee here is so gonna start slowing him down as well. And uh, yep, there you go. He is that Skylark picking it up. He's kind of overstaying the welcome there in that in that bottom lane after picking up picking off the tower, not really doing too much, and then getting caught out with the safe relocate back. On the wisp, and it's also nothing they want to flag here on spot. They, they go for the safe ones, not not for the YOLO relocates to try and pick. I mean, sometimes it is the YOLO, as we saw on the pickup earlier here after that big fight. Um, but most of the time, they don't get punished for that. It's and they're not being forced into like, these kind of weird defensive relocates where uh, Spartan has to sacrifice himself. So that's where we see Io actually with. With the urn, with the glimmer cape, arcane boots, even and yeah. another 1500 gold. It's so far, it's really been the glimmer cape. Yeah, the glimmer cape making sure that he's uh, safe every single time. And because he's a squishy one that goes up there, if he can just keep himself alive, he can just take the other one with him back anyway. Yep, yeah. that's value pick up there already. Already got his worth out of that. He might as well just sell it now and say, Hail, no, skanks, you better blink out. Uh, now he's stuck in the rush pit. Oh, they, they don't pursue him. Yeah, he should be mine. Hey, but yeah. I still want to come back to that one fight in the bottom lane where I just lost control and hyped so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, because we did see that super great uh, down here, that um, vacuum into the Scream of Pain, right? Yeah. It was just so freaking beautiful to watch and unfortunately it didn't let them kill right then and there, but... Well, they're gonna find oh, Hook there. Find it's <laughs> about on the same place that he's gonna just it's take the spill. the same spill. place, exactly, yeah. Uh, once again, re safe relocate. You just keep on going. get the hell out and, yeah. Right now, Barkimere is kind of being outplayed in the positioning game right now. They, they're they not really adapted to that anti-wisp play, which would be like kind of five-man push. They're not just constantly doing that. And they're probably trying might... to farm up here in, in the standard way. I mean, exists once again, he's also exposed. If there was another relocate, he would have been dead as well. Yeah, definitely. But I think the problem might also be a little bit with the vision that they have. They have these aggressive wars coming out. But that doesn't really matter for LC if you have those aggressive wars, because they can just relocate. Yep. It doesn't matter if you see them, if they just relocate in anyway. Doesn't really matter that much for the EO and IO, and they just follow him. Oh, oh too. Skanks. What are you doing? <laughs> this is Nias. <laughs> the value ping. Nice aggressive little reward for the die side here, though, so. Mission accomplished. Don't think they spotted that out on the side of BB. Oh, that would yeah, now, that now they're grouping up again, and now they also know that Roshan should be around the time with back up, and LC already picked up on that fact. I'm trying to bring it down pretty damn quickly, and don't think BB is just ready to, uh, is ready yet to go in. Oh, they're all scattered. Uh, uh, yeah, this is gonna be a free, uh, free Roshan again, and now Keisha picks it up. And they're actually gonna go in here, blink aggressively, relocate to the back a little bit more, and Crepe is gonna die here. Once again, that huge mobility on the side of LC. I mean, not just the movement speed, but also the blink on the, on the line that he's been able to pick up earlier. <laughs> and of course the blink on the pure pain, it's inherent, inherent to that, and <laughs> Pooh's button's still left on top there, but yeah. Yeah, Easier comes to pick him up. <laughs> I think the might have been a little bit of a waste that to actually use to relocate, they would have gotten a kill anyway. They could have used it now to kill off Hook on top. 
under attack. But yeah. Yeah, well. Doesn't matter to get the tier one now. Well. In, um, even though Sheriffine is still way on top of the net worth, um, I mean Kaiser as well as the Queen of Pain have been able to oh. get up. Oh, <laughs> <quite laughs> blown up! Ooh, Sonic Wave. Oh, Finger, Sonic Wave, dead. Yeah. <coughs> well, that has been the. Good things can do to you. Yeah, that has been the, the story of Goal Match Long. Yep. As well as XS. That's stress enough how well LC is playing this. I mean, with the mobility and with the. Um, just with the quick pickoff, combined with BB just not being ready for it every single time. I mean, BB just with one hero at a lane, just being picked off like that, and just blink of an eye, really. And yeah, even though Miracle is still top of the network chart, to come back to my point, he hasn't really been able to fight. Because the entire game for the last 10, 15 minutes, even 20 minutes, you could say, was just LC, relocate there, um, teleport there into blink, into a burst into relocate out or whatever. It's never been the game where Shadow Fiend can just go, alright, this is a five-man team fight, I'm just gonna channel my Requiem, pop my BKB, and then I'm gonna right-click everyone, right? It's, it's never been that game so far. Oh, I might be in trouble, get slowed down a little bit by Kaiser, he doesn't have too much support though, so I have to be careful. Spot the at the right to relocate him out if necessary, but actually quite tanky, pops the BKB and should be able to walk out. It was his 10-second BKB though. Oh, Wisp actually was still relocated, but... For yeah, that's the, the problem with uh, the BKB there. If he uh, pops it on yeah. the... Yo, can take you back. And... Yeah. A little bit of miscommunication, maybe. I mean, Bristleback should have survived there with either the Wisp, even just even just uh, tethering to him, not even relocating out. Or the BKB, but not both. Yeah, there was a little bit of overkill, and we'll uh, make sure that... Welcome Bears, well, I'm not completely sure if they actually saw the relocate in and out, so... If they didn't, they might still be playing carefully, and otherwise they know that they have about a minute or so of free movement. Or at least no fear of the uh, relocate into them. Yep. I don't think they know, because they actually keep on walking fairly defensively. I mean, how would you know? Yeah. <laughs> Only ward right now on the side of, on the side of BB is his aggressive observer ward, and see that even that is going to come out right now. So. I have a lot of sentries. Uh, for the Glimmer Cape, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> one two warding. I can actually buy one, uh, one ward. <laughs> it's something. I might as well use it. Maybe get some vision up. But... Oop, he's oh. walking up. My two skanks dying here, slowed down, open it up, it's crowded up, and yeah, Madara is there, but it's not really a whole lot you can do. A much yeah, he... needed kill here for BB, especially considering the Bloodstone. I mean, Exist has been on five charges for the longest time. Finally, getting another one added on top of that. Yeah, and even Madeira made a little bit of a misclick there. I don't know if you saw it, but there wasn't three and flying in the air. Oh. <laughs> I think he might have tried to. Yeah, he tried to do somebody else, but uh, it didn't work out. Unfortunate. Uh, would have still been uh, a dead uh, skank there, but. Speaking of Madeira, he does have Mystic Staff now. I do expect. Oh yeah, there's a void stone also. There's gonna be a side. On the courier, so it's gonna be a side vice, but there's gonna be a fight right now. Barton, Barton I, Glimmer Cave. With the Glimmer Cave, actually, keeping the left much, but blocking a nice sonic wave and absolutely everyone. Now Kaiser joining the party. Battle Whistle is dead, so it doesn't have that. Uh, doesn't have that buff up. Still alive though, he still has the Aegis, so maybe it's not so bad as Doxy also goes down. And now Hook with the Shell Grave kind of misplayed, but there's the Aegis finally falling spot in there. At the ready to try and come back in, but BB. No, no, actually no. Oh god. We yeah. okayed out and then just like all alone. Even if the Aegis mind. wasn't popped there, Aya would have re couldn't even have relocated him back. Just yeah. to the fact that Tether wasn't cool down. A little bit of a messy fight there from LC. I mean, that's, that's, that's what I was talking about. Miracle, what, for once in that 5-on-5 five five fight, where BB was together and LC was kind of spread all around them. And they finally win that fight now. If you just start to blow up uh, the Dark Sheet, you just lose all your control. Yeah. I mean, well, it's still a beautiful Sonic Wave, but that alone is not going to cut it. I mean, you do need that Wisp back uh, Wisp combo to work hard for you. You need to have the Wisp back stay alive in the fight. With the buff up, being able to right click, being able to throw out a couple of close sprays as well. Yeah. Not having that, not even buyback in him, so they're going to lose at least a tier 3. Probably a whole set of racks unless they. Pulled something out of the hat right now, but... Uh, 
Sonic Wave was already used, and they just instantly just mecked up again, and that's just been the yeah. name of the game. Actually, the Sonic Waves have all been just on place, but sometimes they feel a little bit lackluster to the fact that they're, there's just this mechanism up on Miracle. Yeah, I mean, Sonic Wave is great, but yeah, it's not enough thanks to the mechanism and thanks to just the health pools being much higher now at the stage in game. I mean, even existing at 1600 health points. Uh, Miracle as well, 1800. He's actually went for the Assault Curance as well. So yeah, he, he's just he can play in summer. Yeah. I would still expect a Scarlet at some point just because it's so freaking good of an item on Shadow Fiend. Well, that's just been a waste uh, yeah. of smoke there from Skank. He just smoked up. And well, there were two <laughs> people from BB walking there. So it was, uh, yeah, 100 gold down the drain. And also, no smoke now for the side of LC for three minutes. At least if they. Do they have some smoke? Nope. That is no more smokes for LC for three minutes. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Smoke woods would be work one of these tools that they could use to actually get an objective as well. Not just uh, relocating in, getting a pickup, but also getting an objective off of that because that, that is the um, kind of the big weakness of this kind of playstyle. If you just if you just have this mass mobility across the map to get pickoffs and then relocate back out again, then you have no one left to push the tower with. Now Kai's actually still down with push, pops the BKB. Still want more, but Kai's just saying nope. Teleporting out, everyone back here. Spartan barely gets out too, so. Yeah, reaction falls, but what did they get out of it though? A little bit of extra farm time on the other lanes, and that's about it. Yeah, four man rotation. But yeah, the one problem is I in late game I do favor the Balkan Bears. Like if you yeah, have the Shadow sure. if you have the Shadow Fiend to the Nature Prophet somewhere along the line, you're gonna win this one. If the hardest carry on the enemy lane is gonna be the Bristleback, then yeah. Because Queen of Pain didn't build for uh, or carry items at all. Still never want to count out the Bristleback because he's just, he can just be super. Well, speaking of him and well, he is in, he's actually yeah, being killed by Madara more than anyone else. And well, the TPR there was just as well. He had he had even more time to spare if he wanted to because the site wasn't cool down already. Well, now top here, Scala actually caught by a hook. Not really. Watching him and now That's gonna he should be, be able to make it out. Maybe here yeah, Skanks might not be so lucky. Exist actually popped the BKB down there. The defend up against the line now. Nice vacuum into the wall here. Rook and is, now is Kaiser low. and Spartan come in. Spartan keeping up, uh, keeping the darks here alive. And now they're on the on the hunt here. Kaiser looking for exist. Blink forward to secure that kill. Uh, did not quite expect that turnaround, but with the reinforcements coming in at the right time. Especially with that, that great vacuum into wall from Darkseer there, Scala kind of turned the fight around there, quite literally. Yeah, they were a little bit late there and actually the uh, the sprout of Nature's Prophet was, was off cooldown. He could have used it before on as on Skank already and he didn't. Yep. I was kind of wondering there, he just prolonged the, well, the chase there a little bit too much, so they just run into this, this vacuum into wall combo yep. and yeah that's just want them to fight we're gonna try and get a tier two here with uh, no buyback on uh, on hook here might actually be able to do it uh, i don't know so it's only profit he's not really providing too much in terms of defense anyway i mean the one thing is that he does is split push another lane to try and force you back right so he's not really actively fighting up against you so the power is still there for bb they're spamming up the shadow poison but a lot of damage done to the tower already, but they're not going to be able to finish it off, at least not safely or easily here. Kaiser still wants to go for it here, Miracle in front lines. Hook is back, he just went in fairly aggressively oh, wow. here and he's gonna get uh, well, turned into a piggy here. They're gonna go after Kaiser. here, he gets searched as well, Skylock, yeah, he's also able to run away from, yeah. Where is he? Perch? There's no Perch, there's a disruption though. And oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that should suck! And yeah, ni nice play, but you're still gonna pay with your life here. Yeah, that's why you always carry a TP scroll. One for Darks here to just get out of that situation, and one for Miracle, who's still stuck up top here. Now gets four step down, but once again, very cheeky play there from LC. 
Does, in the end, it doesn't help him though. But it was um, it was fun to see. <laughs> I've seen a lot of funny things these ma this match though. So it is really fun to ma to watch. I don't even. Yeah. I just noticed it's already 40 minutes in, and there's still, yeah, the bottom racks have been down for quite some time already. Oh yeah. I totally forgot about that or <laughs> It's really easy to fuck out, yeah. yeah it's... But that's, that's, that's actually another thing. You're up against the Nature's Prophet and you're racks down, which is never a good sign. Because at some point, if you, if you don't watch it like, bottom lane constantly, the moment the creeps touch the base, you know that Nature's Prophet is going to be there in the top lane or mid, just doing some damage to the tier 3. And now there you go. goes down. This time BB claims the spoils, which is the cheese this time around as well. I see Aegis. Yeah. Now they're looking for what items oh, to take with no. him. Oh no! A little bit of a miscommunication there, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's too late already. But there is that. But there's gonna be the vacuum into the wall, but... It's actually not doing too much at the moment, because Skylock is gonna get blown up here by the Requiem. There's already three people down. Spartan! He has to get out in one second. Is he able to make it? No, he's not. He is dead there. In the last second, he still dies. Keisha, he's stuck. Yeah, he's just gonna get out of here. He's fine. Miracle looking for him, but nowhere to be found. Trade of a bad call goes back in there. I mean, sure, you, if you see that big vacuum wall and absolutely everyone can have the urge to go for that. It's like, I can understand Scarlet going in there, but by doing so, you force the rest of his team to come in when the Queen of Pain, which is still one of your major damage dealers, um, Already down. And now they might even lose Keisha here. They're gonna back buy back on yeah. the EO. And they're gonna leave him alone for now. They're just gonna stun him up, keep him away from the tower while they try and get it. Yeah, this is a, this should be a tier 3 with another set of wrecks. Might actually be game in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. You're not gonna win now. You're, you only have. <laughs> okay, there we go. I pick it up. <laughs> they, you're playing for the Nature Prophet. You have two lanes of wrecks down, and what yep. you're gonna do? Yeah, they're gonna claim the third side of Disruption. Well. Yeah. There's gonna be the Sand Tower stop perfectly timed. Kisher, he was looking forward. AKA, he was looking towards his death, and he is, yeah. Gonna buy back here in Spartan, he, he calls it. Yeah. That's how one death on a crit of pain can lose in the game. Just like 80 seconds, no buyback, and the rest of the team also throwing their buddies to try and salvage the situation, but yeah. All the commitment there, lost some four more heroes, and Kaiser the only one to survive, even with the buyback from the West. Of course, not the ideal hero to defend high ground up against full five man lineup. That was yeah the first game. I'll see they had a lot of cheeky plays, but in the end, uh, it caught uh, up to them and they lost versus them. Not the split push and a little bit more late game oriented lineup of the Balkan Bears. We're just gonna go into the second match already with me is Dragon Drop Dota. This is the Mountain Trail Challenge best of three between the Balkan Bears and London Conspiracy. This is the winner bracket and we're gonna go into the second match as soon as possible. At eBattle, we have made it simple for you to join in on the action. You can bet real money on your favorite teams and the biggest tournaments in eSport. It's so easy that everyone can do it, but remember, you have to be at least 18. Combine your winning betting slip and make the victories even more glorious. Join us on the front row and experience a greater world of eSports betting. Trust your knowledge and bet now. Go to ebettle.com. The game begins with you.